girlies welcome back to another YouTube video my name is Alicia Gogan if you are new and you do not know and if you are new don't forget to subscribe a lot of my videos that people have been watching a lot of them it shows on my analytics that you guys are not subscribed so just make sure that you subscribe that way you don't miss any videos and I briefly touched on this in my last video and some of you guys had asked me to create a new video about working smarter not harder this is all to do with the soft life so if you don't know what the soft life is and you need an explanation and or you're a little bit confused as to like what it means then I will have either here or here um, a link to the video or even down in the description go watch that video first I will quickly sum it up living a soft life it's all about ease it's a lot about stepping into your feminine energy and with doing that we want to try and do things of course with ease and because we are girlies on this channel who want to step more into that feminine soft lifestyle some of us still have to work some of us still have to do a lot of things for ourselves like me personally I still have to do basically everything for myself I'm 26 I live alone I do and pay everything for myself and so I have learned I would say like over the years, but now I'm really like living it too, is to work smarter, not harder. That way I am not feeling so overstressed. I'm not feeling like I'm constantly working super hard and getting nothing out of it. I'm doing things on a day-to-day -day basis where it makes my life feel easier. And that's what the soft life is all about. So I'm gonna talk about a few things in which could help you um, to kind of see things differently and question the things that you're currently doing in your life. Can you do it in a different way? And when we're talking about working, these tips and these things that I do personally in my life, they still have that undertone of masculine energy because masculine energy really is that working productive force within your life and your structure within your being. And even as women, we both have masculine and feminine energy. But I think like, how can I create a healthy masculine energy within myself that doesn't feel like so overworked and egotistical and just feeling not worthy. So the first thing that's really important is to look at your own individual life and see the things that you need to be tweaking in order for you to feel like you are not overworking. So maybe in your career you don't feel like you're super overworked and maybe you don't need to do much in terms of working smarter not harder because you kind of you're okay with how much work you're putting in and you have good boundaries and you're not thinking about work all of the time things like that but I'm sure if you're watching this video then maybe you're maybe feeling overworked in your career or maybe like with your health and wellness routines things like that and you're just feeling like this is not the soft life I have some comments on my TikTok videos with the soft life and some girls say that like doing their self-care routines routines feel like a second job so like if that feels like that to you then that's where we need to look at these areas in, in your life and be like okay well, how can I do things in a smarter way where I'm not feeling like this is literally a job so I find the best way to do this is look at the areas in your life in which you're creating excuses for so um, if you're constantly falling off or making excuses for doing specific workouts or eating a specific way a specific diet or again going to work all of the time and you're just feeling completely drained like what are the areas in which you're making a lot of excuses and you're feeling very overworked and these are the areas where you want to focus on simplifying things for yourself that way you're not feeling like everything is a second job and you're literally stressing out your nervous system and you're not enjoying things like this is not what the soft life is about the soft life is about feeling at ease creating peace and serenity and all of the things it's all about that feminine energy okay so let's talk about career and I'm gonna give you my own personal um, story about like how I switched from working smarter not harder and I'm still currently doing this as well so last year I was working two jobs I was working as a server and I was also working um, in corporate as a health and wellness consultant during the days and the corporate career did not make me enough money for me to pay all of my bills comfortably and I had to get a second job as a server and I've always kind of had that um, job as a server because it's just such good money but also I was holding on to this job one because it was like getting me through COVID and this that so it was great and I was working from home but we were gonna be switching back into the office and I started to get really overwhelmed because I'm like I 
can't have this corporate job without having a serving a serving job but i was holding on to that corporate job because it had benefits and it was stable and you know like i like i was on salary and all of these things but at the end of the day like it still wasn't making me enough money and i got to a point where like i had to choose and also another thing is like i spend literally like a full time amount of time in my week doing tiktok and now youtube and my podcast and so I started to realize like I can't do three things like I can't do my corporate and I can't do serving and I can't do social media like I need to figure out a different way of doing things and so I realized that I, I literally made a pros and cons list I was like okay these are the things that this is the reason why I'm staying at this corporate job because it's stable and it has benefits and like this is what I went to school for but also these are the cons of it is like literally I'm making three times more money in the same hour working as a server. So I'm making more money and less time doing that. But of course in my head I'm like, do I really wanna be like going back to being a full-time server, this, that. But then also I'm thinking about my own situation which is I have other passions. I wanna do social media full-time. I'm making money here and there from social media. I don't wanna rely on that completely yet because that's not where I'm feeling safe yet. But at the same time it's like, I need to I need to be smart with my time so I decided to leave my corporate job and that was kind of hard for me because like that was what I went to school for and you know I thought that I was gonna be there for a lot longer but I realized like I can make more money in less amount of time and now obviously I'm not saying for you to quit your corporate job and then like work as a server but you have to think about your own like your future and your interests like are there things that you could be doing or you're already doing and you're working on like a passion or hobbies throughout the day and you're wanting that to be maybe potentially your full-time job in the future and if that's the case then when you're actually going to work are you capitalizing as much as you possibly can and making as much money as you can and for me it's being a server bartender waitress things like that like i just make way more money and so for you like are you working at a job that is taking all of your time and really not compensating your, yourself and i know it's easier said than done to just be like okay well okay, my corporate job is not making me enough money, like I'm gonna leave and go somewhere else. I know it can be difficult, but at the end of the day, it's like if you are overworking and you're spending so much time and you're getting paid like nothing an hour, it's time to think about doing things differently. Is there a promotion that you can be going for? Is there a new certification or a course that you can take that will up-level you into a new position? Is there a different career path that you're even, that you're trying to go to? And if that's the case, then, what is it right now that you're staying stuck in that is not allowing you to move forward in your life because it's taking all of your time? What are you doing in your free time that you could be putting your energy towards up leveling yourself in terms of your career? And I'm talking about doing like the smartest, quickest thing. I'm not saying like every time after you come home, you're not being clear with what you want and you're like doing some job uh, searches and you're just realizing that you're not qualified for things that about this, that, and the third. You need to start to use your time and be clear with the things that you are trying to get to and want in your life. Make a list of the things, the career, the life, the money, all the things that you want and the action steps in which you're going to take to get there. Because if not, you're just gonna have this little dream in your head, or not even a dream at this point, you're just gonna be having this thought in your head that like, yeah, I'm wasting my time, but you're gonna be doing nothing about it. Like you need to start taking action on the things that you say that you want in your life. And if that is living a soft life, then let's take some action and get ourselves in a position to live a softer life, which means, more money, less time, is it a promotion? Are you getting clear on the things that you need to do to up level in your career? Are you taking it a different way? Another thing that I do in terms of social media when I'm working smarter not harder is I batch film my content. So when you're seeing this video, I'm after this video, I'm going to be filming a few more because I had my ideas lined up and I film everything in one day. And that way I have a few videos throughout the week to film. And then next week I'm doing it again. So I'm really only spending like one or two days out of the week creating this content. I'm not doing it every single day and having to produce, produce, produce. That is something that we do not need to do. Especially with social media and the age of social media, batch, film everything, take photos or videos of things when you can. I know not all of you are trying to be on social media but I'm just letting you know some of the things that I do my day to day that make it a lot easier for me to be able to do the things that I want. Another thing when it comes to working smarter not harder in terms of career and again I'm going to give you my own example of like what I do on social media is 
I've grown up on social media. Like, you know, like I've been an average YouTube watcher for so many years, like literally since I was so young. And you know, I'm on TikTok and I'm on Instagram and all these things. So I know a lot about social media, but I knew that in order, if I wanna grow my audience, then I need to go on a platform that is going to give me the biggest reach in the fastest amount of time. And that's, that doesn't play in my head all the time, but I'm just very intentional with that. And right now it's TikTok. TikTok is the easiest platform for you to post your social media, your stuff on whatever you're trying to grow on, um, your content, and for it to create a big impact on social media right now. And so I'm spending as much time and effort, and I have been, I have a big audience on TikTok now. We're almost, we're, we're getting to 200K, which is amazing. But I prioritize putting as many videos and all of my content on there versus doing it on Instagram and doing it on YouTube because I knew it would take way longer to grow on Instagram and YouTube. And now what I'm also doing as well is when I do want to post on Instagram and when I do want to post on YouTube, on Instagram, I'm making sure that reels are my top priority. Anytime that I'm creating a piece of content, I'm making reels because Instagram is pushing reels and pushing videos. They're not pushing um, static photos. So I'm just thinking about like, how can I get the most with the least amount of effort right now? Let's work with the algorithm. Same with YouTube. I like creating these types of videos and I will. But I also know that YouTube is pushing YouTube shorts. So now I'm going to be taking some of my TikTok videos and I'm going to be repurposing and putting them on YouTube for YouTube shorts. That way I can bring in some more viewers and potentially they subscribe. So just thinking again about these small little tweaks in your day that actually make it so much easier. So if you again are thinking about things in your life that you're just like, oh my gosh, this is such a dread. You have to start to think about things differently. How can I do things in easier ways? And there's always it, there's always an easier way. It's just we are conditioned, especially as women, that we need to overproduce and we have to work so hard in order for us to get the things that we want in our lives. And that is something that I'm having to deconstruct all of the time within myself, and I'm still having to do that. But it's so not the truth. It's just what we've been conditioned to believe in our lives that we have to overwork in order for us to receive. We are naturally receiving human beings if we were dominantly in our feminine energy. So the fact that we we, we have this um, thought in our head that, oh, I have to be all of this first. It's not true. You are already that. You are already your feminine energy and feminine energy is all about receiving. It's not all about receiving, but majority of it is receiving. So let's touch on a few other things that I think could be important for you to think about. So like even with your health, right? I feel like we all get to a point where we're just, we don't, we always say we don't have enough time, right? We don't have enough time to eat healthy and this, that. And this is, this is coming from somebody who has worked a lot. Again, like I was working three jobs at one point and now I'm doing two, but still. And I, I used to do this when I was going to college and all of this. You have to simplify your health routines and the things that you're doing in terms of eating healthy. I think that when we get into this health kick, we think, okay, I'm gonna make all of these recipes for the week and I'm gonna prep all of these things, da da da. Make it so simple. The reason why I'm not, I don't do like recipe, healthy eating videos like in detail that much anymore. Like I, I can show you guys that for sure, but it's because I eat usually the kind of the same things. Obviously, like I rotate things. Um, different types of proteins and different types of vegetables throughout the week, but I'm keeping it very simple. I'm making sure I have a healthy protein, lots of fiber in terms of vegetables and fruit, and also healthy fats. And then of course, I'm making sure I have my staples throughout the day. And I'm kind of rotating through that. I, I meal prep some stuff sometimes, because again, I am a server, so I do work um, some, some of the nights. And so I'm making sure that I have salmon prepped or ground beef prepped, but I'm literally just throwing everything, like I'm chopping everything up, like carrots and sweet potato and my salmon, I'm putting on a, a roasting pan and I'm putting it in the oven and I'm cooking everything all at once. And then I'm just like separating it into containers and done. And that is literally, I'm, I'm literally done that in less than an hour instead of cr trying to create all these elaborate um, recipes. And again, creating recipes can be fun and baking can be fun, but I'm not gonna be doing that on the days where I don't want to feel like I'm so overworked when I already have to put so much time and effort into a job or into something that I'm doing to kind of up level my life. I don't need all of this noise. It's not necessary. So just thinking about how you can simplify the things that you're eating throughout your day. Are you being overwhelmed with the fact that you think that you need to create all
all of these different re um, recipes. Same thing goes with working out. If you find that you're slacking with your workouts and you're telling yourself like, I need to go to the gym like four days out of the week and you're really not making it to the gym and you have this long drive or whatever the case, of course we don't wanna give ourselves so many excuses to the point where we don't do anything. But if we're talking about feminine energy here and if we're talking about the soft life, then it, it's all about listening to our bodies and our intuition and like if things feel so hard then like don't do them I'm sorry like it's gonna it's gonna completely go against the independent hard-working girl in me <laughs> and I'm sure in you if you're listening to this because that's I used to be the complete opposite but at the end of the day it's like you know you could just go outside for a walk right like 10 minutes out of your day and not only can you do that you can work smarter not harder by listening to your favorite podcast as you're going on a 10 minute walk and you're doing two things at once and it feels good and it's great for your body and you're getting outside and instead of instead of stressing yourself out so much about doing an hour workout at the gym and you have to do this whole thing and then what you never actually do you're going on this walk basically every single morning and you're actually getting you're you're being more active by doing that you're being more healthy you're being you're resetting your mind when you're listening to podcasts whatever it is that you're doing so again it's really about stepping into the feminine energy and just living that soft life and working smarter not harder the last thing that I want to talk about is dating I threw this in here because that's kind of just like my I don't know my experience right now I'm kind of like single for the summer I talked about it on the podcast also if you want to listen to that what it really means to me to be single for the summer and like learning how to have a healthy relationship with yourself which I also made a video about so go check that out but when it comes to dating I just think like go on dates when you know that you will have the energy and time I feel like some of us like if we're talking to guys or whatever like if they're just like oh like tomorrow like let's go out if you have a long day at work, somebody is asking you to go out, you, you know you can say no, right? Like you can decide when you want to go on a date on the days where you know you'll have the most energy. And let's, let me give you a quick example. Let's say tonight I wouldn't be going on a date because I'm going to be going to work, but I have my makeup and my hair done. I could decide to go on a date tonight because I'm already ready and I've been doing, um, I've been recording all day. And that way I don't have to like, and to go on a date in two days where I'm gonna have to get my hair and my makeup and everything all ready to go just for that one little thing. So it's just like, again, working smarter, not harder. And something that I have been trying to explore and learn more about is the infradian cycle in which us females have. It's our 28 day cycle, which impacts so much of our lives. We go through 28 days or to like 30 days of different phases, four different phases, in our life which impacts the way that we feel and our energy levels and our productivity and all of these things that are so unique to women that are not the same as men. Men work off of the circadian rhythm which is a 24 hour cycle within a day and we also run on that as well but we have this whole other 28 day cycle and so lately I've been learning just about the ovulation cycle and how when you're ovulating, it's best to kind of get really social and go on dates and stuff like that because you have these pheromones and you attract a lot of male attention. So anyways, I'm just putting that in there because that is another thing that I'm another tool in which I'm going to understand where I'm at in each um, phase of my cycle and I'm going to try to support my body from the way I'm, that I'm eating and how I'm moving my body and the productivity and all these things to make it feel not so hard for me. Because again, when us women, there's going to be days throughout the month where you have no energy to do the things that you're trying to force yourself to do. And so if you guys want a video on that, then let me know in the comments and I will talk about that more because I think that is a perfect segue from working smarter, not harder and really understanding like why throughout certain days in the month that you just don't have the productivity and I know a lot of us we're really independent and we're just trying to self-improve and do all these things and we get mad at ourselves when we don't have the energy and I know that's something that I've really struggled with in my life so let me know if you want a video on that but I think that's going to be it for this video I don't want to go with too many ways with this but I just think it's really important and I hope you get this message of can you look at your life right now and just look at the things that you're just you're either slacking on and or you're feeling tired about and you're just being miserable and i want you to send yourself love and compassion and i know you're you're so conditioned to tell yourself you're not working hard enough and you know you're lazy and this that and that's that viral video that went 
on TikTok about, I don't think you're lazy if you want to live the soft life. I just think that you've been overly in your masculine energy and you are tired and it's making you sick and it's making you miserable. So what are some things that you can do within your life that you're going to be able to simplify and not feel bad about it? I want you to not feel bad about stepping into your divine feminine energy. So without further ado, I think that is it. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Again, comment down below if you want to talk about the infradian cycle as well as like anything else that you that I touched on in this video. And yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.